What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about gold investing for beginners. So let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you wanna learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just wanna watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, so this video is all about gold investing for beginners. We're gonna talk about why you should be investing in gold, but also we'll talk about the different ways that you can be investing in gold. Now, there are two main reasons why people invest in gold. The first is to maintain their wealth, and the second is to grow their wealth. Now, when it comes to maintaining wealth, why is gold so good? Well, gold is considered to be a safe haven asset. Gold is a great hedge against inflation, and it's recognized as money all across the globe. I mean, gold has literally been used for currency, money, barter, whatever you want to call it, for thousands of years. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there that don't want to just maintain their wealth by diversifying into gold, but they want to grow their wealth as well. And we're definitely going to cover that in this video. So real briefly, I'll just mention the four different ways you can invest into gold, and then we'll talk about why you should. The first way is by just buying physical gold, like this right here you could buy gold coins gold bars there are several different places you could purchase them you could go to a local coin shop or you could buy them from an online bullion dealer for example another way to invest into gold is to buy an ETF this is just like buying a stock so if you've ever used a broker like Fidelity or TD Ameritrade uh, or maybe even the Robinhood app you could go on there and look for GLD that's probably one of the most popular gold ETFs ETFs. Now, a ETF like GLD will basically follow the spot price of gold. So if the spot price of gold were to go up, then your shares in GLD would likely go up as well. And then if it went down, then those would go down. So it's essentially similar to buying physical gold. However, you're actually not taking possession of any. So it's really uh, paper gold is what people call it. You don't actually ever own any gold. Another way to invest into gold is to play the futures markets and we're not going to get into that heavily in this video because this is investing for beginners and there's a lot of risk there a lot of potential to lose money if you don't know what you're doing and then the last way is to invest into gold mining companies so that being said we're going to talk about why you should be investing in gold i think the best place to start is why i invest in gold and the reason why i do is because it's a hedge against inflation and it's a safe haven asset so if the stock market crashes i'll maintain my wealth if there's massive inflation I'll maintain my wealth so really any portfolio should be somewhat diversified into precious metals in my opinion now in regards to inflation the US dollar can be manipulated by the government they can create more of it and when they do this that's a classic form of inflation expansion of the money supply inflates the money now we're not going to get into macroeconomics and all the intricacies of inflation that's definitely a topic for another video but there are some charts that I want to show you in regard to expanding the money supply all right so this first chart here is the m2 money supply or how many US dollars are in existence and the year-over-year -year percentage growth so this chart right here should scare you in 2020 there is this massive spike up it's almost to 25 percent that would mean in 2020 if it reaches 25 percent which i think it will because there's another stimulus package about to pass that we will have created a quarter of all of the u.s dollars ever created this year alone how crazy is that so clearly the government is expanding the money supply with all of these stimulus packages so yes inflation is happening and there's nothing that you or i could do to stop it but we can protect ourselves from it now this chart here is the u.s national debt and as you can see it's very similar to the chart we just saw 2020 has a massive spike up we're actually now over 27 trillion dollars in debt as a country and this is really just the start it seems as though inflation is 
is inevitable for today, tomorrow, and the foreseeable future. So for those reasons alone, it's a really good idea to invest in gold, which as we just talked about is a great hedge. Now as I'm filming this video, the spot price of gold is right around $1850 per ounce. However, Goldman Sachs is predicting $2300 gold in 2021, and with the government creating a seemingly unlimited amount of currency with no end in sight, I think it's an excellent time to be diversifying into the yellow metal. Now coming back to the different ways you can invest in gold, by far the safest is to buy physical. That's what I like to do. That's what a lot of people do to just maintain their wealth over a long period of time because it's this great hedge as we talked about. The other way to buy an ETF such as GLD is a little bit more risky and there are some other facets to it. I typically don't recommend buying a paper version of something when you could just buy the real thing. Also, if you take any profits when you sell your GLD, you will be subject to the highest capital gains tax because the IRS considers gold to be a collectible. So that's another thing you should take into account. Now, as I mentioned before, buying futures is very advanced and definitely not for a beginner video. Maybe I'll do a video on that in the future, <laughs> no pun intended, but honestly, you can lose a lot of money and there is a lot of risk when it comes to buying and selling futures, so we're not going to cover that in this video. The last way to invest in gold is by buying gold mining stocks, and this is actually a great way to grow your wealth as well because the price of these stocks can go up independent of the spot price of gold. Now there are several different ways to invest into gold miners. There's the big boys such as Barrick or Newmont and these are established gold miners that are actually pulling the gold from the ground, refining it and selling it. They can be an option but there's also junior miners who might represent a greater potential for profits. These are companies that are either in different stages of exploring for gold or they're getting ready to go into production and actually extract it from the ground. They could either sell off to a larger mining company or they could actually start to turn profits by simply mining the gold themselves. While there are a lot of junior miners out there, one I would like to highlight is Blue Lagoon Resources. Now the photos you just saw are from Blue Lagoon's Dome Mountain Gold Mine. When I think of the Dome Mountain, I think of this massive mountain full of gold and silver just waiting to be tapped. Only about 10% of it has been explored so far, but so far the results have been very exciting. In fact, their shares have gone up nearly 100% since July. Blue Lagoon is looking at doing some more drilling to actually search for more gold. This will start on January 11th of 2021, so the time might be right now to look at them as an investment. This summer, they're looking at possibly going into production, or they might sell off to a larger mining company, which could have potential profits as well. Now, I I always recommend doing research into these companies before throwing money at them and definitely looking at the management staff. I have had the CEO of Blue Lagoon Resources, Rana Vig, on my channel several times to talk about their company. In fact, if you want to watch my most recent interview, I'll put a card up in the corner as well as a link down below in the description that you can check out for yourself. Now, Rana Vig is responsible for two of the biggest deals in the Canadian venture market in the past past two years. If you want to learn more about Blue Lagoon Resources specifically, I will leave some links down below in the description to check out their presentation and their company's website. One thing that I always have to mention in regard to investing in mining companies is that there is risk. This is not the safest way to invest in gold by any means, so always make sure you do your own research, but there are potential profits. One good thing about gold mining is that the median global cost all in sustained to mine one ounce of gold is about $975. So with the gold spot price of right around $1850, there's lots of profits on the table there. So once they find the gold, these companies can be very profitable. But again, the safest way to invest in gold for beginners is always to just buy physical gold. Of all the different types of physical gold you can invest in, my favorite are the American Gold Eagles. The American Gold Buffalo is very beautiful but it costs slightly more, so for investment purposes, the Gold Eagle is, in my opinion, the best. It does come in four sizes. There is the one tenth ounce American Gold Eagle. That is one of the most popular sizes because it's the cheapest and obviously the smallest. 
Then the quarter ounce is very popular as well. This is probably one of my favorites. The half ounce is the least popular, but it is still a great investment piece. And then the best is going to be the one full ounce American Gold Eagle because this has the lowest premium. All right, so there you go. That was gold investing for beginners. I know we talked about a lot of different things. We talked about physical gold, ETFs. We briefly mentioned futures and we did talk about gold mining stocks as well. If you have any questions regarding investing in gold, feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to check out Blue Lagoon Resources. Again, their website and information is in the description. I want to say a massive thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you all in my next one. Silver Dragons, out.